Welcome to Monmouth in Focus, a program about the services and functions of Monmouth County government. I'm your host, Commissioner Director Tom Arnone. The Made in Monmouth event, which is run by the Division of Economic Development, is a fantastic way for our local business to showcase their products made right here in Monmouth County. So today, this is a great day. This is something that's, uh, was, I always came here and looked at this table there, and uh, now I have the, the creator here, uh, John Levici. Thanks for having me. Levici. Levici, um, who's the owner of Hangover Pretzel Company, which we'll talk about the name in a bit. Um, but I want to thank you for coming on. And Thanks I, for having I, me. I really I appreciate hope, it. Um, I hope this Made in Monmouth event really um, excites a lot of our small businesses because it's tough to market. I, mean, I know it is. And um, so where did this come about where um, you started making pretzels? The original recipe, which is the blue bag, is an old Pennsylvania recipe. We actually got it from my best man's now ex-wife. She gave it to us. And we always made it for my son as a little kid. And we knew we had something because everybody loved them. And, you know, eventually I just started selling to, like, little places in Brooklyn and, you know, in Jersey, Pennsylvania. And it was born out of a How many flavors do you have? How many flavors? Right now we have four. Uh, we, just added, we just started doing plain ones, and we're actually in the middle of making a new one called Cheddar Ranch. Cheddar Ranch. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm looking at all these. If I remember correctly, um, I bought one bag one year, and um, it was spicy. It was great. Kasabi. That's it. I think yep, that's, that's it. That's one. <laughs> that's yes. It. And uh, you know, it was, which was great. But when you first put that first one in your mouth, it was like, whoa! And yeah. um, you saw it. it yes. But it was, it was really, really good. So, Thanks. with all these flavors that you have, um, and and the product, and we'll get into where you sell these and, and those. But what made you came up with um, Hangover? The name Hangover uh, Pretzel. We moved to Freehold in 1999, hosted a couple of parties, and my wife would always serve the pretzels. One day, one of our friends uh, called us up the next day, said we had a blast, and he said, you know, but your, your pretzels really kicked my butt. And my wife's like, what do you mean? He goes, yeah, they gave me the worst hangover. And he's like, relax, I'm just joking. And with that, the whole neighborhood just bought into it. It's like every time we had a party, it's like, don't eat the pretzels, you're going to wake up with a hangover. Oh, I, I had a great time, but I had a hangover. Hence, we had to call ourselves the Hangover Pretzel Company. So now, where do you, where do you operate out of? The Elks. The Elks? Yeah, right in downtown. Freehold? Yep. Oh wow! Yeah. And and you you just that's where you do all this. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. How I mean, we're small. I mean, right. I, you know, I'm right now. I'm only doing you know one or two days a week, depending on the season. Uh, but we're growing. We're growing a lot. Um, now, um, I mean, obviously, you you ha you put market it and you put it into um, different establishments. Or yes. Are they in stores? Or? Yes. Uh, locally, Wemrock Orchards carries us. Really. Uh, Source Brewing Company and Colts that carries us. Uh, Jug Handle. Those would be the closest places that carry us. So do you, do you, how do you envision the future to be, you know, with this here? Um, a lot of growth, a lot of growth. Um, last year we opened up 15 new breweries and they're all doing extremely well with it. So this year I want to concentrate on more breweries, uh, wineries, more gourmet shops, that type of thing. How many people work? Just you? Just you? And so you're my the... wife help, helps me once in a while. Actually, the reason we have Sweet Heat is because my wife helped him one, one night. She actually came, she, uh, she met me at the kitchen, she was helping me clean up. She actually thought this sauce and the brown sugar cinnamon sauce were the same, I don't know why. That's how Sweet Heat was born. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So she helps me whenever she can, she's got her own business. My son helps me once in a while, um, but it's basically me. And you yeah. deliver and everything? Deliver or FedEx, okay. yeah. If I'm in the area, I tell people I'll, I'll deliver in person, save the shipping cost, otherwise, um, I ship it out to them. How much does like a, a bag cost? Like most retailers selling for eight bucks. Eight bucks. There's a couple reasonable. that are selling for seven. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, wow. But uh, most are most of them are eight dollars. So um, you know, obviously, like, where did the viewers? Where can viewers like just? Like, we, we had the same website for ten years. It was antiquated. So we just launched a new website two days ago. If they go to thpcs.com. That'll take you right to our website, and you can buy it right online. You've been one of our lo longest standing people at uh, Made in Monmouth there, and I think it was 10 years ago. I think this yeah, was I think it was. So, yeah. Somewhere around there. Um, so what do you think about it? Give your input as a, as a small business owner. I think it's phenomenal because it gets the local people out there to, to know that all these Made in Monmouth businesses are out there. It gives us great exposure, um, something that you really can't pay for. Um, so I love it. I really think it's a great thing. And you could see year after year, more and more people come. You have more and more vendors coming as well. So it's, to me, it's 
uh, do vendors in. like do um, and you know since you've been there so long you've seen you know vendors come and go um, most of them still keep coming yes because um, it's growing this year we actually have 180 businesses wow that's and amazing so yeah we're, we're looking forward to you know the 180 businesses bringing in you know hundreds of people mm -hmm. piece which will equate to you know hopefully you know, 5,000 or more people right. at, at our venue there. And, um, you know, we've moved it to Brookdale mm -hmm. there. Is that permanent? We, we think so. You know, okay. listen, and, and take another week. I can't thank Mom with you enough for all they've done for, for us there over the course of the years there. But, you know, conflicting with sports and stuff like right. that a little bit. But, and then, and then transitioning into Brookdale, that's our county college. Right. You know, so that's us right. um, there, too. So, you know, it's a good way to showcase our great college that we have there, community True. college that we have there, and all the great things they do. And it, plus it brings 5,000 people there to see that what Brookdale's all about. Right. And, um, and say, wow, That's this true. is really special because it, a lot of people don't realize it because they don't get the ability to go to different events there. Right. So this one here is a big venue where a ton of people can come to an event. There. It'll be my first time at Brookdale, so I'm, I'm, I'm oh, well, anxious to see. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, think, yeah. I think, you know, let me know what you think. People said it was great. People loved it. Yeah. People loved it. It's centrally located right. there. Um, and, you know, so I think it's, I think it's beneficial. The parking's great. Right outside the venue, so we're we're looking forward. To that. I'm yeah. looking forward to stopping I'm looking forward by. To it too. I, I buy a bag of pretzels every time I'm nice. there, so we're there and uh, we're there a long day. That's usually my lunch. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> but but I, I will tell you, this is really special, and it's a great way to showcase um, what the great talent that we have here in Mom. Yeah. No, I agree. Yeah. So thank we, you. John. I love it. I, uh, thanks for having me. I, really uh, I appreciate, appreciate it. it. Looking forward to seeing you on the thirtieth. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you for joining us for this segment of Mammoth in Focus. To learn more about the Made in Mammoth event, please visit www.madeinmammoth.com. We hope to see you there soon. Thank you.